buddy, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Look at that. Rainy. It's actually really rainy. This is the first decent rain we've had for ages. I had a job fall through today, so I thought, meh, go for a fish. To be fair, this is pretty much my last day fishing locally, myself, for a while, I'd say. And that's cause, in about a week, the back country opens. And that means we can fish anywhere. So I thought it's rainy, it's midweek, it's been quiet, I'll shoot down. There's people everywhere. I try to spot further downstream, uh, which I'll probably try later. But I got there and there was about, I don't know, 15 cars there. So I left them to it and I've come upstream and I'm just going to try and fish a few pieces of water and poke around. Yes, with the swinging rod. Of course with the swinging rod. That's what I do now. It's rainy. I've got to get out. I've got to get into my gear without getting soaked. So I thought I'd do the intro in here, bring you up to speed, say what's up. And well, I guess now I've just got to go and get ready. Try and find some water without anybody in it and swing it up. Right. Ooh. This is a good time for me to talk you through what I'm using. Let's start with the rod. So this is the uh, this is the clear water double hander from Orbis. It's a four weight, 11 foot four switch rod. I have very well. I have zero experience with switch, spay, stroke, switch rod, spay rod, anything like that. So I don't really fish anything else, but I really like this. Uh, as bad as I am, it's, it's pretty easy to kind of pick up and use. Uh, I've got this loaded up on the Opti Dry Fly because, well, basically I've run out of reels. I need more reels and I don't have enough money to buy them, so I'm just dra dragging old ones out. Uh, but it's a super cool reel, I really like it. It's it's a pretty sweet piece of kit. On here, there's a 210 grain integrated Skagit line from Scientific Anglers. I'm actually, it's good. But because of these big heavy flies, I'm actually going to experiment with a 270 grain on this. Uh, hopefully I've got that coming fairly soon. And I'll give it a go on here and let you know what that's like. But this does the job. Um, but talking to some buddies, they just reckon maybe a 270 grain might be a little bit better uh, for throwing those bigger flies. On the end of that, I've got a 10 foot, 7 inch per second sink tip. Uh, again from Scientific Anglers, one of their TC tips, I think it is. Yeah, um, and they're they're sweet as they are sweet. I recommend you just buy the set, and uh, you've got everything covered. Uh, I'm just going to retie this leader section just because um, I haven't retied it for a while, and it's a bit battered. There may or may not be a casting knot in there. <laughs> Who's to say? So I've got some 12 pounds, so like one X absolute fluorocarbon again scientific anglers pretty much everything i use line wise um is scientific anglers i haven't found anything better out there uh, i've used pretty much everything over the years there's a reason i've changed everything over to scientific angler stuff is that it's just it's the best out there right it's going to go about i don't know what, three feet four three and a bit feet maybe of leader so i'll loop to loop that to the end of that i've got about that much leader and then I'm gonna bang on this guy here. That's just as well I retied that, that is messed up. So this is just um, an olive dumbbell head kind of intruder style fly. Actually, a guy I met on the river the other week. Stephen, if you're watching, hey buddy, how you doing? He very kindly gave me a couple of his flies and this is one of those. And then just a lefty's loop, put that on there and we're good to go. Job done. So yeah, that's the guy, four weight. Switch rod, 210 grain integrated intermediate tip line, 7 inch per second 10 foot tip, and about that much 12 pound leader to a heavy fly, intruder style. Job done. It's pretty simple. Be a sandwich, got some drink, I've got some lenses, got some batteries, I'm wearing camera. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Got a net. This goes in here. Let's do it.
couldn't score anything down there. No. I may actually have had a little just a tap at the very, very top in that first few casts. But other than that, no. Really happy with my casting today. So far. Probably go to shit soon, but like so far, it was going pretty well. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to go somewhere else. Just another piece of water and I'm just going to keep moving around. Uh, as long as I'm covering water well, I'm just going to keep on moving until I find some fish. Let's keep looking. I just had a look in this little side bit here on the way back to the truck and I saw a fish. I don't know if it's still there, but um, I just ran back to the truck, picked up my nymph rod, and I bang a few. Oh, I'm just going to fish up through here, see if I can find that fish again and just get on the board. Anyway, it's probably gone by now. But, um, meh, give it a go. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Give that one a go. You guessed it. Little clear drift. Six mil egg. Had some people asking me, um, some of you guys in North America that are coming into your steelhead season pretty soon, uh, just like what, what size egg I've been using. Uh, and it's the six mil egg. My favorite seems to be about bang on six mil egg on a size 12 grubber hook with a little bit of milk veil it's been uh, it's been real good oh it's a little size 10 hair and copper in i can't actually see too well in here because it's starting to get a bit dirty so i'm just going to fish through that water oh that was a fish <laughs> Yep. Ah. Damn it. Yeah. Third time lucky, maybe. Egg doing the uh, doing the job. Oh, nope. I'm making that look terribly hard. Sweet. Third time lucky. And yeah, uh, yeah. Dirty egg. That's worth doing. I'll fish my way up there, maybe there'll be one more, and then I'm out of here. Back to the swing. Uh, cheeky little fly change. Got him. Goes to show. We're changing flies. Come on, don't go down there. I'm just trying to lead him back up towards me with that low rod angle. Not too much pressure, but just nice smooth. Come here. Gotcha. that fly away from that fish. Oh, no way! It's a different fish. I was looking at another fish and this guy just... Uh, I didn't actually hook this fish. It was just there as I lifted up to recast to his mate. I'm not sure if you can see, but just down there, there's two fish paired up. Yeah, look, just there. If you ever see fish like that paired up, don't try and fish for them. Just leave them alone. Yeah, they're trying to do their thing. They don't need us giving them a hard time as well. So yeah, just watch them. They're cool to watch. And then just uh, leave them alone. Two. 
blown out. Anyway, so I've got a couple of fish, which is great. I'm heading back downstream. I got to this spot here. There's only one car here now. So I'm going to walk down there. Hopefully they're not swinging. And I'll jump in there and try and get a fish down there. But in the meantime, sandwich. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Let's go catch a fish. Let's go catch a fish. Uh, it's a bit squashed because it's been at the bottom of my bag, but what we've got is low carb bread. Oh yeah. We've got some mustard, some hummus, some sweet chili relish, some salad, some Colby cheese, some or peppered shaved ham, and some capsicum. Mm. footage today but uh it's just too rainy oh. sweet alex move oh no way oh he got caught up in the line <laughs> try and get another one and hang on to it first sweet alex move i've done for a while so uh you're welcome look at all this pumice it's been left there from obviously when the river was a little bit higher those of you not in new zealand this is that floating rock stuff. So that's super light. Super light. Watch this. Floating. Volcanic rock. the rest of that piece of water um, and didn't get anything else. I'm just going to nip through the head of this pool for like 20 minutes, try and pick up a fish and then go somewhere else. Testing out this new fly. I've, got a, I've done like a double tungsten version and a single tungsten version um, but I don't really know what it's supposed to be but it looks buggy and I think it might catch and then obviously I'm going to bang an egg off of that. Well, I'm pretty much at the point now where everything is soaked. Everything. This guy here, it's not a dead egg, but it's pretty similar, I think. It might be a dead egg, I actually don't know. We're fishing the same kind of egg with a Lumo spot. Been doing real well with that too. They're just good. But yeah, basic setup. Double tungsten, some 4X, and an egg. All right then, let's give this a go. Got one. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I've got it. A little skinny, but cool colours on her, eh? Let's get a straight back. Man, like, everything is soaked. It's well, 12 o'clock and everything is just sopping wet. It's just been that constant, just persistent, hard rain and just, yeah, man. I mean, like this, this is just heavy and just bleh. One of those days where you just can't keep anything dry. But the fishing's been good. I want to go back to the first piece of water that I just never even got out the car for because... There was too many people there. I just want to swing down through there and then I'll probably call it a day then because that will take me a couple of hours and uh, well, I've already had a good day. Yeah, that is all. Oh, there's a fish. That was a fish. There's a fish. Is it still there? I don't think so. That's a fish right there, yes! Oh! Oh, bro! Shit! I decided it was time to leave because the river's come up a couple of feet since I've been here. It's getting a bit dirty and a bit big. So I'm gonna get myself back on the right side of the river just so I don't get caught out much worse than when I came over so just about to see the bottom certainly wouldn't want to leave it too much longer that's for sure Ooh. fairly borderline everything is just soaking wet sopping this weighs about eight kilos just there's nothing dry so I actually didn't do that well down there I thought I thought I'd do much better down there. I had a couple of tugs and then a one lost fish. That was it. And then I decided I had to bail because that river came up. It got real dirty and all of a sudden I thought I might be uh, in danger of getting stuck on the wrong side of the river. Cool day. Caught some on the swing. Caught some on the nymph. Didn't really see many people despite there being heaps of people around. So that was what I called a pretty, pretty good day. Good to see you. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and... Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Summer's coming, backcountry's about to open. If you like these videos, you like this kind of stuff, hit the button because I've got some cool stuff coming up before Christmas. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great week. Peace.